Films, games, and even the now well-known metaverse are industries that have been growing exponentially and not looking to stop in the near future. The main question that I would like to ask here is, what would be from all these words if we wouldn't have characters on them? Creating a realistic and anatomically correct human character ready for animation is a challenging process with a lot of really important steps to consider in it. In this course, I will take you through my entire workflow of sculpting, retopologizing, and texturing a realistic digital human using ZBrush, Maya, and Substance 3D Painter. We will start studying human anatomy, but this time, instead of learning just from 2D images and plates, we will be creating the skeleton from zero in ZBrush. We will study the average proportion of the human body, and we will create bone by bone the skeleton structure and the main landmarks. Once we have our skeleton ready, we will use that as a base for start sculpting and placing every main muscle, learning their names, position, origin and insertion. Later, we will be able to apply all this knowledge in the creation of any character. After having our ecrochet done, we will start from a sphere to sculpt and block out the body of our character using the head that we created in our previous course. At this point, we should be able to apply all our anatomy knowledge from the first chapter and we will use our own ecrochet as a reference for this. Once our main forms are in place, we'll jump to Maya to refresh some of the main concepts of what makes a good topology, and we'll proceed to do a full retopo of our character. With the retopo done, we will create different UV sets depending on where and which industry we want to place our character. With our mesh and UVs done, we'll go back to ZBrush to add secondary and tertiary details and get our model ready for texturing. This time, we will do all our texturing in Substance 3D Painter using the power of their newest tools. We will be using Wrap 3D, photo projections and some more artistic approach to give a realistic look while following closely our reference. At the end of the course, you will be ready to create digital humans, but also all this knowledge can be applied to any type of character like creatures and robots, for example. The anatomy skills that we develop in the first chapters will serve you as a base to understanding how everything is created from the inside and what are the steps to get a production-ready mesh that you will be able to use in your favorite render engine. This is the third of a full series of tutorials where we will be creating the entire character with all his props, clothing and grooming. The main goal of this course is to share with you my knowledge and processes and hopefully help you on your journey of becoming a complete and successful character artist. I'm Thomas Sackman, I'm a 3D character artist working in the film industry and I will be your instructor in this journey.